In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today, dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate the memorial of Saint Maximilian Mary Kolbe, a priest who in his earthly life has exemplified a special love and devotion to our Blessed Virgin Mary. We ask his intercession and Our Lady's help as we continue this earthly pilgrimage. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. O God, who filled the priest and martyr, Saint Maximilian Kolbe, with a burning love for the Immaculate Virgin Mary, and with zeal for souls and love of neighbor, graciously grant that through his intercession, that is striving for your glory by eagerly serving others, we may be conformed even until death to your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. As I, Ezekiel, listened, God shouted, Come here, you scourges of the city, and bring your weapons of destruction. Immediately, Six men advanced from the upper north gate, each holding a deadly weapon. In the middle of them was a man in white, with a scribe's ink horn in his belt. They came in and halted in front of the bronze altar. The glory of the God of Israel rose off the cherubs where it had been and went up to the threshold of the temple. He called the man in white with a scribe's ink horn in his belt, and said, Go all through the city, all through Jerusalem, and mark a cross on the foreheads of all who, do, of all who deplore and disapprove of all the filth practiced in it. I heard him say to the others, Follow him through the city and strike. Show neither pity nor mercy. Old men, young men, virgins, children, women, Kill and exterminate them all, but do not touch anyone with a cross on his forehead. Begin at my sanctuary. So they began with the old men in front of the temple. He said to them, Defile the temple, fill the courts with corpses and go. They went out and hacked their way through the city. The glory of the Lord came out from the temple threshold and passed over the cherubs. The cherubs spread their wings and rose from the ground to leave, and as I watched, the wheels rose with them. They paused at the entrance to the east gate of the temple of the Lord, and the glory of the God of Israel hovered over them. This was the creature that I had seen supporting the God of Israel beside the river Keba, and I was now certain that these were cherubs. Each had four faces and four wings and what seemed to be human hands under their wings. Their faces were just as I had seen them 
beside the river Keba, each move straight forward. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Above the heavens is the glory of the Lord. Above the heavens is the glory of the Lord. Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed, both now and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, praise be the name of the Lord. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens his glory. Who is like the Lord our God, who has risen on high to his throne, yet stoops from the heights to look down, to look down upon heaven and earth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Your precepts, O Lord, are all of them sure. They stand firm forever and ever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother does something wrong, go and have it out with him alone, between you two selves. If he listens to you, you have won back your brother. If he does not listen, take one or two others along with you. The evidence of two or three witnesses is required to sustain any charge. But if he refuses to listen to these, report it to the community. And if he refuses to listen to the community, Treat him like a pagan or a tax collector. I tell you solemnly, whatever you bind on earth shall be considered bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth shall be considered loosed in heaven. I tell you solemnly again, if two of you on earth agree to ask anything at all, it will be granted to you by my Father in heaven. For where two or three meet in my name, I shall be there with them. <coughs> the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> Whenever we try to correct our sisters and brothers? How do we do the approach whenever we want to correct a mistake? <coughs> How do we do it? Our gospel today teaches us how it should be done with love. To correct means not only to acknowledge the wrong things that is done, <clears throat> but also to show a way to move forward. To correct <clears throat> comes from the Latin word corrigere, which means to put things to right or to guide. And uh, what better way to understand fraternal correction, <coughs> forgiveness, 
done through the sacrament of reconciliation. The sacrament of reconciliation teaches us to acknowledge our sins, our feelings before the Lord. <coughs> But the Lord does not crucify us for our sins. He does not simply punish us for the things that we've done wrong. Through the words of the priest, we are guided on how to turn back to the love of Christ, how to become a better son or daughter of the Lord. Saint Maximilian Kolbe was a martyr. He gave his life in exchange of the life of a prisoner. He was willing to sacrifice himself <coughs> to lay down his life for his friends which is also the greatest love according to the Gospel of John. He was able to give his life so easily because he has been giving his life daily. He has been giving his life every day to Jesus. And therefore, let us learn from the school of reconciliation, the sacrament of reconciliation, so that we may be like St. Maximilian Kolbe, martyrs before the Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Humble and sweet, gentle and kind, acceptable for the Lord, who is in sacrifice and your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this church. We present our oblations to you, O Lord, humbly praying that we may learn from the example of Saint Maximilian to offer our very lives to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle the victory is yours. Through Christ our Lord. Therefore all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we with all the hosts of angels cry out, without end as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and work of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess the resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May you make of us an eternal offering to you, 
so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, especially Maximilian Kolbe, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit we offer one another the sign of peace lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world grant us peace Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
greater love has no one than to lay down his life for his friends, says the Lord. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that renewed by the body and blood of your Son, we may be inflamed with the same fire of charity that Saint Maximilian received from this holy banquet through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. On behalf of my brother priests present here, I would like to express our deepest gratitude to the administration of the Sanctuario de Fatima for allowing us to, to celebrate the sacred, the Holy Eucharist today at 4 a.m. here. We are priests who are at present studying in, uh, to different fields, with different fields in Rome, Italy. Thank you very much. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulcedo, Espes Nostra Salve. Ad eclamamus, Exunes Filieve, Ad Resuspiramus, Gementes et flentes in hac lacrimarum varie. Ea e 